So I figured I'd post a video of the types of silver that I like to buy, uh, especially when I can find deals on them. Um, some of the stuff that you see before you I've purchased for a dollar or two over melt value. Some of it I paid a little bit more. So I figured I'd share them with you. Everyone likes Inglehard silver. Um, they're no longer in business and you know many people collect the different types of bars. This one's referred to as the small E, the big E, and the EMC. Uh, but they have so many different styles of bars. Uh, it would be hard to get them all. Um, they also came out with this Statue of Liberty bar for the centennial of the Statue of Liberty, so 1986. Uh, three separate companies made this actual bar, but if you see right here that little E, that means that this one was produced by Engelhard. Um, I purchased these last year in the 20s, and uh, you, it's hard to find these anywhere for under 40 bucks a piece. Uh, very very cool bar and I'm glad that I picked those up when I did also the Engelhard Prospector these uh, they're not very rare uh, there's a few scarce dates 87 is one of them um, they're getting harder and harder to find uh, they're not scarce by any means but when I was a kid I used to do a lot of coin collecting and I'd see dealers selling these just about every dealer would have some of these for sale and that's no longer the case I'm just not seeing them as often at the coin shows they still pop up every now and then and if I could get them for a decent price I'll pick them up every time here's another piece of Engelhard uh, the Statue of Liberty series this one's a little bit more scarce than the bar it's the 1985 round I think it's pretty neat um, you don't see these often and I, I've looked on eBay um, these are hard to pick up for you know under $50 uh, very very cool round though I like the design of that a lot now we'll move on to the Johnson Matthew um, they produce the same bar as Engelhard slight variations uh, Seems that the Engelhard has a lot more detail in it. But if you flip them around, you can see the difference of the back. Uh, you can see the MTV. Um, but down here it has the Johnson Matthey um, logo versus the Engelhard logo. Uh, still a very cool bar. Just not as sought after as the Engelhard version. Um, there's also a MA Swiss version. I don't have one here. Uh, which I would put in between the Johnson Matthey and the Engelhard, um, its value. Uh, just a standard Johnson Matthey bar. Um, I think that they're kind of ugly, but uh, widely recognized, so I pick them up. These uh, I only buy if I could get them for the same price as generic silver, so um, I'm not going to pay any type of extra added premium because it's a JM piece. Um, these are the, I think it's Freedom, the American Way series. Um, they were produced in, I think, 85 or 86. Um, I think that the rounds look awesome. And this one, I, had, I was searching for the right to bear arms for a long time. This is the last one that I needed to complete my collection. I found it at my local coin shop kind of glad about that um, it is a very cool round and I really do like the series um, they were only produced for a limited time so um, who knows that these might become more collectible as time goes on I believe the Engelhard prospectors will also the Norfed dollar um, a lot of you guys know what the Norfed dollar is well, anyways, these were produced by Sunshine Minting um, for a guy. And he actually uh, got sentenced to jail because he put a face value. And he also put USA on the front of these. Um, imitating uh, currency or whatever. But from what I've heard, these became very popular in the city of Boston and actually merchants were exchanging these for their face value. So 
that's pretty neat and I really really like the design on these um, the designs on the reverse vary slightly um, if you can see here this one is a 2003 and the one on the left is a 2005 um, I like the one on the right better but I think that they're both really cool as you can see one's a $10 face value and one's a $20 so um, that is pretty neat well anyways thanks for watching this is the type of silver that if I can find it for a deal I'll pick it up every single time I should add about the Engelhard larger bars uh, this is a 10 troy ounce Engelhard made many different sizes uh, some of the different designs are worth considerably more money than their intrinsic value uh, some people are willing to pay like for the four ounce or the six ounce poured bars a uh, hundred dollars an ounce is an uncommon but uh, this type of bar it is kind of a, a common piece but I remember going to a coin show uh, silver was at 2150 and uh, there was a new new dealer set up at a table there and he had probably I'd say a hundred to two hundred ten troy ounce bars he had cases loaded full of them uh, stacked to the top he probably had 40 or 50 of these Engelhard bars in there and uh, all of the other silver they were all generics like OPM and stuff like that he was charging 225 a bar so a dollar an ounce over spot and these he was charging 250 for so 350 an ounce over spot I went around the room and I went back to his table and uh, all of his Engelhard bars were gone someone nabbed up every single one of them so I think that Engelhard a lot of people um, don't buy it because they see it as overpriced but it also has that liquidity factor Engelhard collectors are diehards and they won't mind spending a few dollars more per ounce to get an Engelhard piece I mean this is a very very cool looking bar I really like it a lot